<laughs> Good morning, it's Dr. James. Hey, I do hope this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. And this message this morning, I do believe, is gonna blow your mind, make your heart smell, <laughs> smell, <laughs> swell with gratitude, <laughs> and maybe make you smell the roses while you're out walking in the woods and connecting with nature because this, this study, just made me feel like, ah, this is absolutely for every single one of us right now. This study came out of the Journal of Neurology. They just completed it. And they focused on a group of adults between the ages of 50 and 85 years old. And they had them do one thing every single day. They asked them to take a five to 20 minute walk in nature. So the key was in nature, but it didn't have to be like where I live in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. It could be in a park. It could be under a canopy of trees. It could be in a place where you saw just lots of grass, flowers, a garden, anything where natural beauty was around you. Here's what happened. These people, they had functional MRIs before they took their walk and after their walk. And they just did a progression of these over the course of six weeks. Six weeks of walking in the woods or being in nature. Here's what happened. They actually saw the structure of their brain, the size of their brain change. It actually grew their gray matter. Now gray matter is associated with things like memory and brilliance and cognition and focus. It just makes you just a bigger, brighter light on the planet and helps you to remember all the cool things that you wanna be standing for and gives you the motivation, the confidence to follow through on those things. But here's the other thing that happened. And I found this to be one of the things that just really, yeah, it touched, just touched my heart because I do believe this is something that we all, every single one of us need right now. Mm. Whew, this touched me when I was thinking about this. Um, we have centers inside of our brain that are associated with empathy and compassion. Empathy and compassion for ourselves, empathy and compassion for people, empathy and compassion for strangers. You know what's beautiful? Our, our mind, this part of our mind, doesn't see distance doesn't see differences, doesn't see anything other than common humanity. And when we walk in the woods, we just stimulate these centers to actually bring more and more empathy and compassion to everyone that we see. Gives us a chance to actually see them with fresh, beautiful, soft eyes before and maybe even postponing any judgment that wants to come in, any sort of fear that wants to come in, any separation that wants to come in. And the more that we're walking, the more that we're spending time in nature, the more we get a chance to extend that peace, that empathy, that compassion, and suspend the judgment. And I also love the fact that it does the same thing for ourselves. Every now and then we wake up in the morning and sometimes we, you know, we, we see or hear something uh, with media, uh, something in the world where we just go, oh my gosh, <laughs> what do I do? How do I respond? What can I what can I do today that will make a beautiful difference in the planet? How will my presence being beneficial help to change the way the world is working? You know, when Margaret Mead said, don't underestimate the power of one human being to change the world, never ever underestimate that because that's all that ever has been. One human being, then getting contagious, then becoming courageous, and that person being someone who other people see and go, ah, oh, I want how she is being. I want to experience while he is being. I want that. Empathy, compassion, gray matter, nature. A recipe for transformation. A recipe for healing ourselves and the world. So do my friends, <laughs> do this with love in your heart. When you're feeling a sense of disconnection and separation, when you're feeling a sense of overwhelm, just tap the brakes, step away, step into nature, walk slowly, breathe, take it in, and know that your mind and your brain and your spirit is changing, evolving, transforming for the better. So with that, there we go. Much love, every blessing. Have a beautiful day.